we are asked to complete the table below. In the first row we are given a phrase and asked to write the expression. The phrase is two less than the quotient of twice a number and three. So because the phrase reads two less than the quotient, let's first find the quotient. Remember quotient means division. For the quotient of twice a number and three, let's use the variable n for the unknown number. So the quotient of twice a number and three is two n, that's twice a number, and then divided by three, remember a fraction bar means division, and we want two less than this quotient, so now we subtract two. Again, here we have two less than the quotient of twice a number and three. The next phrase is four times the difference between a number and three. So because the phrase reads four times the difference, let's first write the difference, and for the unknown number, let's use the variable a. So the difference between a number and three, or a and three, is a minus three. But the phrase reads four times the difference, which means we have four times the quantity a minus three. We do need the parentheses here, otherwise we would just have four times a, not four times the difference. In the next row, we are given the expression and asked to write the phrase. We read this expression three times the quantity b plus five, or three times the sum of b and five. Remember, a sum implies addition. But for the variable b, let's just use a number. So let's write the phrase as three times the sum of a number and five. And now we have several more phrases. The next phrase is the sum of five times a number and four. And again, sum means addition, so we'll be adding five times a number and four. Let's use the variable w for the unknown number. So we'll have the sum of five times w and four. The expression is five w plus four. Next we have the product of seven fewer than a number and three more than the number. So this one's a little bit tricky. We know we're going to have a product, which means we will be multiplying. And let's use the variable p for the unknown number, which occurs twice because it reads seven fewer than a number and three more than the number, which means the number is still the unknown number, p. We will have a product where we'll be multiplying two things. One factor is seven fewer than a number, which is p minus seven and then we're going to multiply this by three more than the same number, which is p plus three. Here we have implied multiplication because we have two sets of parentheses next to each other. So we have the product of seven fewer than a number and three more than the number. Next, we have five fewer than the product of a number and three more than the number. This time let's use the variable y for the unknown number which again occurs twice here, and then three more than the number is still y again. So we want five fewer than the product. Let's first write the product, and we have a product of a number and three more than the number, which is y times three more than the number is y plus three. And again, we want five fewer than this product, so we have minus five. Again, this is five fewer than the product. Here we have implied multiplication of a number and three more than that number. And for the last row, we have an expression. We want to write the phrase. The expression is two x plus one. One way to express two x is twice a number, and then because we have plus one, we can write this as one more than twice a number. I hope you found this helpful.